Samsung has a massive network of devices that are active and being used every single day. So it makes sense to read about the company's smart tags item tracker performing better than Google's own Find My Device feature. The only downside is that it requires you to have a Samsung Galaxy device to use its SmartThings application. But there's a clever Android developer who has been working on a fix for this very issue. And just this week, they released an application to download and modify the Samsung SmartThings app so that it can work on any Android 11 device or higher. The actual work to modify the SmartThings application can be complicated, but the developer Quinn has made it incredibly easy with an application called UTag. This should be downloaded from the original GitHub page, which I'll be sure to link to down in the video description below. I'll include this link in the pinned comment as well, so that it's easy for everyone to find. Once you get to this page, you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom so that you can find the releases section. Tap on that link, and then we're going to download the latest version of UTag from this page. We're then going to sideload this APK file like we always do, but definitely let me know if you get stuck on this step or any others in this guide. Once the application has been installed, let's go ahead and open it up so that we can get everything set up properly. The onboarding process is actually really well put together, so I don't see many people getting stuck here. We're going to agree here, and then we're going to let the UTag application download the SmartThings application. So it's going to download the SmartThings APK file. And then it's going to go through and modify that file. And you likely need to grant this application the ability to install SmartThings. Once we finish that, we go back to UTag and let the application set up the mod. And it shouldn't take too long to complete. Although I did try setting this up on my Red Magic 10 Pro and I got stuck at the setting up the mod step. But I kind of understand why, as Red Magic OS is not the most bug free firmware out there. With the SmartThings APK file downloaded, modded, and installed, we can now begin to finish setting things up. So we're going to tap on the Open SmartThings link from this page, and we're going to go through this onboarding process. So we tap Continue, tap Continue, go ahead and skip through this, Allow Location, Allow These Permissions, and then we need to sign in to our Samsung account. This is required in order for the app to function properly as Samsung is keeping its APIs locked up. Go back to the UTag application and finish setting up those permissions if you haven't done so yet. So we can tap on grant settings, permission, location, and allow all the time. We go back, we can see that note has disappeared. Now we can grant permission, allow, and disable these optimizations. Then we're going to enable Find My Everything Network, enable Unknown Tag Scanning, and we can sign into our Samsung account if needed. Now we have access to the UTag settings page where there are a lot of different options for us to look through.
There isn't much else to it though, as once we finish all of that, you're gonna see that we now have access to the Smart Things application. It does not give us any errors, even though this is the Google Pixel 8 with Android 16 installed on it. Quinn is quite the well-known developer within the Android community, and it's always a treat to see what new things they've been working on lately. It will be interesting to see if this work is able to bring some other Samsung exclusive apps to the entire Android community. But for now, it will be a good idea to donate a few bucks to them if you've found the UTag application to be useful. I would appreciate it if you would all give this video a like as it really helps to appease the YouTube gods and to subscribe to my channel. I'm getting really close to 100,000 subscribers, so each and every sub helps out.